Happy New Year, Flav City family. Welcome to Aldi. We're about to walk the aisles here at Aldi and do a top 10 things to buy here in Aldi in 2023. We make these videos every single year. If you saw my video yesterday from Costco that kicked off the series, today we're at Aldi and we're gonna do what we always do. Walk around and show you the best top 10 items to get here at Aldi for you and your family. And what do I mean by the best? I mean Bobby approved best in class ingredients with awesome prices here at Aldi, which over the years has gotten better and better. So less talking, more shopping. Let's walk around Aldi. The Aldi snack section has gotten so much better over the years, and there's some really good options at really good prices. And I'll start with this. Maybe my favorite thing here are these. Coconut cashew crisps. They're paleo, they're delicious, they're crispy, and you wouldn't expect them to be Bobby approved, but look at these ingredients coconut based, sweetened with paleo coconut sugar, real cacao in there, cassava flour, no natural flavors. What I love about it, eight pieces only have nine grams of sugar. So you're literally talking about just over one gram per crisp. That is phenomenal and it tastes so sweet and caramely and nutty. Go for the chocolate, go for the sea salt caramel. How do they get it? Well. They just add salt. And because coconut sugar has a caramely nutty flavor, that's it. The only one I wouldn't get is vanilla because they're not using a real vanilla extract there. They're using natural vanilla flavor, which is not really natural at all. But $2.99 for a pack that's three and a half ounces. This is the best snack here and it's 100% Bobby approved right next to it. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I got excited. It's 10 cents. I thought it was a dollar. So it's a 10 cent Aldi Saber. These came around last year. This is the Aldi version of the high key cookies and they're not perfectly Bobby approved, but they're still really solid. These are zero net carb cookies. So listen, if you're keto, diabetic, or watching your sugar, these are the cookies you want. And there's no other alternative on the market that has perfect ingredients, which is why these are technically still Bobby approved. Look at the ingredients. There's only one I don't like here, but it's almond flour based, sweetened with erythritol. What is the oil? It's coconut oil. You don't see any cruddy processed ingredients. The only bad ingredient you see somewhere there is, where is it? Boom, vanilla flavor. They even put collagen in here, just like high key. So we're talking zero net carb. Do I love the natural flavors? No, but this is the time where I actually ask myself, is there an alternative, Bobby? Is there another cookie that's keto diabetic that doesn't have natural flavors and low to no sugar? No. So technically this is Bobby approved. Both that and the snickerdoodle here are fantastic and they're way cheaper than high key. Go to Target and get a bag of high key. They're like six bucks for $3, right? With that big sale right now for the savers, this is a solid choice, especially if you're low sugar, keto, or diabetic. And the award for healthiest, most nutrient dense bread here at Aldi on this entire wall goes to this one. Every year it's the same one. Knock your sprouts off. This is the low sodium one, but the original one too. And as a second runner up is Seedtastic. Now, this is knock your sprouts off. $3.49 is a great deal because this is comparable to Dave's Killer Bread, which is more expensive. Let me show you what's going on here. So organic is nice, especially with the wheat. But what makes this so bomb, in my opinion, is sprouts. Knock your sprouts off. What does that mean? It means if you look at the ingredients, it's organic sprouted grain. So you read the grains here. My gosh, I need my glasses here. <laughs> As soon as I moved to Florida, my eyesight started failing close by here. So what does this say? Sprouted wheat berries, sprouted millet, sprouted rye. There's sweetener, there's honey. It's not cane sugar. There's one gram of honey, which is totally fine. And there's no filler ingredients. But see where it says sprouted, sprouted wheat berries, stuff like that. Sprouted grains are technically the most nutrient dense grains you can get because what happens when you sprout a grain? You unlock more nutrition for your body and it's easier on your tummy to digest, which makes this the most nutrient dense Bobby approved bread at Aldi. And for $3.49, the low sodium or the regular one, you can't go wrong. If you want something different, this would be your second runner up. This is $4.99 for Seedtastic here. It's organic too, which is important when it comes to grains like wheat. Everything is pretty kosher there. The only thing I don't like, instead of honey, they add sugar. There's two grams per slice, which is still technically allowable, but everything else is great. It's just not sprouted. So 
Second runner up is this one, but the winner for best bread at Aldi by far is sprouted bread and that price is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, thank you for waiting. I appreciate it. It was very kind. It was just waiting, listening to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's take a quick break from the Aldi video because Branch Basics wanted to sponsor this video and we use Branch around the house all the time because I always talk about a non-toxic household and usually that's in my bedroom showing you the mattress that can be with laundry detergents. Well, the cleansers you use around the house can be bad. You think of the ingredients, they use fragrances, they can use phthalates, they can use parabens, pegs, stuff like that can be endocrine disruptors or hormone disruptors. You don't want it. This is a Branch Basics and my promo link down below gets you 15% off the starter kit. But Branch is really cool because when you order, and I need to reorder, remind me Rosie, because I'm almost out, you get the concentrate, this big bottle. But then they send you a bunch of empty bottles like this and you fill it up with water and the appropriate amount of concentrate. Like this is all purpose spray. I clean dishes with this, I spray the counter, I probably use this more than anything else. And then all over the house we have the hand soap. And then it works really well, but more importantly, if you look right here, Rosie, see what it says? No fragrances, no irritants, no parabens, non-toxic, but most importantly, it works. Very, very important that we have a non-toxic home, but I want my stuff to work too. I highly recommend getting the premium starter kit because it contains this. This is their version of OxyClean, but it's clean, non-toxic, and it works well, not just in the laundry room, but if you get a stain on your quartzite like we have, you just put it on there with a little bit of spray and it comes right out. And I highly recommend getting their version of dishwashing tablets, which my load just finished behind me right now. Uh, this stuff is great. So if you're in the market for cleanser on the house and you want it non-toxic clean, use my link down below. It gets you 15% off any starter kit. And I'd recommend adding the uh, dishwashing tablets also. Let's say you want your pasta and sauce fix here at uh, Aldi. I got you covered for a ridiculous price. Now let's talk about pasta, what to look for, what to uh, avoid. Yes, this is organic spaghetti, which is nice, but this is just made of wheat. This is made of whole wheat. This is a complex carbohydrate with more fiber. This is a simple carbohydrate that will just spike your blood sugar. This is the better option if you're choosing between these. Now, we don't really do gluten at home, so I live here. This is fantastic. These are chickpea pastas, rotini and penne. The advantage of getting something built out of a legume like chickpea is, fiber and protein city. What does this say? One cup portion, one cup portion has 11 grams of fiber and 19 grams of protein. Make sure I'm reading that right. Holy cow, 11 grams of fiber. You might as well call this colon blow. Do not stray too far from the toilet after you have your bowl of pasta. With 19 grams of protein. What happens when you combine protein and fiber along with a little bit of fat in your meal? You satiate your hunger for a long time and you also have a slower release of the, of the sugar into your bloodstream preventing too high of a spike of your insulin. This is complex carbs done right. 269 is a great deal. If you don't want chickpea or bean based pasta, get the whole wheat spaghetti because it's a complex carb. This stuff, just regular white pasta, gluten-free pasta made of rice and potatoes and corn, simple carbohydrate. Now, if you need a sauce to pair with your pasta, yes, they have Rayos here, which is best in class, but it's a little pricey. This is one of the best deals ever. The Simply Nature Organic Marinara Sauce. Are you kidding me? This is a 23.5 ounce container for $1.95? That is crazy. And it's best in class ingredients. It's tomatoes, there's no oil, there's no sugar. Now, the only difference is I talk about it, it's tomato puree, whereas Rayos will always be whole peeled tomatoes and peeled whole tomatoes are superior. So it's slightly inferior, but this is gonna be a much cheaper option, still with great ingredients and totally Bobby approved. You're talking to me. <laughs> yeah, you gonna get some pasta sauce? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's is a this... good deal, huh? I don't know. I'll let you know. A buck ninety-five. No, no, it's a great deal. Yeah, it's a great but deal. How does it taste? Not as good as Rayos. Well, no. Uh, listen, I met the guy who owns Rayos. Oh, really? Uh, good for him. Nice. Yeah, he made a lot of money. <laughs> it's fantastic that you can find a hundred percent grass-fed beef at almost every grocery store, and they always have their brand of organic, a hundred percent grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. Remember. 
grass-fed and grass-finished is the same as 100% grass-fed. You want to make sure it says one of those two. Aldi always has it for a great price of $5.29. And when they have the family pack on sale for Aldi Fine, scoop that. I talk about it all the time, but this is $85.15 grass-fed beef. It's $5.29. If you compare it to this one, which is $85, it's $4.59, so it's slightly more expensive. It's, what, 70 cents more expensive. But this is cattle that's feedlot cattle that's fed GMO corn and so soy. These are cattle that live in the pasture and only eat grass. We talk about it all the time. Nutritionally speaking, this is superior. It's better for the environment. It's better for the farm. It's better for the cow, and it's better for you. This stuff is great. I'd say Aldi and Walmart have the best deal ever. Even better when it's a family pack on sale, but if you want grass-fed beef, you cannot beat that price. If you're a Kerrygold butter fan, you're much better off putting Kerrygold down and getting the Aldi Countryside Creamery Irish Butter for two reasons. Number one, this is $3.45. Have you been to a grocery store lately? A brick just like this of uh, Kerrygold is $4.99 or more. Even the price at Costco went up. I think there's a new Irish dairy tax, so this is way cheaper. Also, the rumor on the street is that Kerrygold actually makes this for Aldi. So it's the same exact butter, but way cheaper, meaning it's grass-fed 80% of the time and non-GMO fed the other 20%. For $3.49, it's a great deal. The benefit of Irish butter is that it's European. So if you compare it to American-style butter, more water in American-style butter, which is why it sizzles and spits more when it's in the pan, more fat in Irish style or European butter, you want more fat in butter. This is great butter. At that price, it's fantastic. But if you think you're getting a Bobby approved butter when you buy the spreadable one, how do you think they make it spreadable? Unfortunately, let's find the ingredients, boom, with GMO, highly processed, highly inflammatory canola oil. So no to spreadable, hex yes to that Irish butter in that price. Somewhere on this wall of fats and oils is a really good extra virgin olive oil. But you have to be a sleuth or a hardcore Flav City fan to understand, is it Carlini extra virgin olive oil? Or maybe the organic extra virgin olive oil, that's a few cents off. Or is it the Sicilian extra virgin olive oil? Where it comes from really matters. So this is where you have to kind of put on your your thinking hat, extra virgin olive oil. Look at the origin. We talk about this a lot, but see what it says here on the bottom? It's from either Greece, Italy, Morocco, Portugal, Spain, or Tunisia, then it's packed in Spain. Yikes, it's like a mutt. It's a mutt of the olive oil world. The organic extra virgin olive oil. Where is it from? Same thing. It's from either, can't read this. Greece, Italy, Portugal, Morocco, packed in Spain. But this one right here, Sicilian extra virgin olive oil, has the stamp on there, is only from Sicily. There's no other countries involved at all. Traceability matters because 85% of the extra virgin olive oils on the shelf are fake. They're cut with other oils like peanut oil, canola oil, soybean oil, has too high of acidity to be considered extra virgin olive oil and so on. And when you start getting olives from so many different countries packed in another country, the traceability becomes impossible and you're almost always gonna be fake extra virgin. This is legit, not only just from Sicily, but it has the authentic uh, seal on there. They take that stuff very serious in Italy. So this bottle right here is $7.99, a little more expensive than these one right here, but by far, this is the best one here at Aldi. Now, this, yes, it is pure avocado oil, and I love avocado oil. It's a perfect swap to canola oil, but this one is product of Mexico Good. Spain, maybe not so good, an independent lab test came out early this year and found that this uh, avocado oil was unfortunately cut with other oils, so this would not be a great choice. The funny thing is, if you go to the sprays down here, which is very useful, I use these all the time, especially with grilling, this is just Mexico sourced, see, avocado. So this would be perfect and very high quality because Mexican avocados almost always come from the Haas region. If you watch uh, Rotten on Netflix, there's a whole episode about it and how the cartels get involved in it. It's a big, big money industry, but that's where Chosen Foods gets it from, Primal Kitchen gets it from. This would be a really good one. I would be hesitant to get that because of the blended 
avocados from Spain and the lab reports that came out. So stick with the spray there and the Sicilian extra virgin olive oil there. Dramatic pause for the Zamboni. Would you expect Aldi to have one of the best hot dogs in the game? They do. So take a look at this. Yes, it's a beef hot dog that's organic. That means the cattle don't eat GMO corn and soy, but in small print, I wish they would make this bigger. It's made from 100% grass-fed beef. Better yet, ingredients, clean as a whistle. Look at those seasonings there. I see a little bit of mace in there. That's classy as can be. More importantly, no filler ingredients, no sugar, no natural flavors, 635. Now, yes, it is a little more expensive than this or that. Right, these are super cheap, but this is gonna be mystery meat. This is what I call lips and buttholes, and it's made with GMO beef and whatnot. This is solid. This is on par with uh, Applegate organic grass-fed beef hot dogs, but they have them at Aldi, their brand. It's one of the best deals and one of the best sausages, hot dogs on the market. Let's talk about lunch meat. We already talked about the best bread here at Aldi. What if you wanna make a sandwich? What do you do? Come straight here, the organic, Simply Nature Roasted Turkey is one of the better deals you're gonna find. Organic, in my opinion, is a must. That means the turkeys never eat GMO grain. Ingredients, fantastic. No natural flavors. Organic honey, but see where it says zero grams of added? If the added sugar is so little, it can say zero, so it's a touch of honey here. I would stick with the turkey, because if you get the organic ham, which is nice because it's non-GMO, they're actually using cane sugar there and they're using maple natural flavor. So what's interesting is that it's $4.99 for six ounces. There's 16 ounces in a pound. So we're talking about what? Basically 13-ish dollars a pound, which is not a bad deal. Applegate Organics and other people are about 16 to 17 dollars a pound. It's nowhere near as good as the deal as Costco for the organic uh, turkey breast, which is like 8 eight ninety ish a pound. But this is one of the better deals for one of the cleanest Bobby approved turkey. So you put that on your bread. And what do you do for cheese? Well, you come down yonder and you go straight to Ireland, my friends. I guarantee Kerrygold's making this for uh, Aldi, just like they're making the butter. This is grass-fed cow milk from Ireland cheddar. I guarantee this is Kerrygold, which means they're abiding by uh, the same rules they're doing for the uh, butter, 80% grass-fed, 20% grain-fed. That grain is gonna be non-GMO in North America, just like Kerrygold. I don't know for sure, but that's my guess. It's $3.79. It's better than the other cheeses here that only have GMO grain-fed. This is mostly grass-fed. Let's say you want a cheese for the kitties. Take the school. Boom. Go straight for organic string cheese. Why organic? Because it's non-GMO. String cheese is super fun. We all had it back in the day. To get a pack for $3.69, great deal. If I wander to the end here, these are relatively new. These are Keto Coconut Clusters Original and Chocolate. Both are organic. Now, you know those clusters they used to have at Costco? This is the Aldi version of that. And once again, it's not perfect, but there's no alternative if you're keto or diabetic friendly. So Keto Coconut fluster, Clusters. What I like about them is they're loaded with pumpkin seeds, sunflower, hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are high in omega-3. Pumpkin is high in zinc, which is actually great for cold and flu season. There's really no filler ingredients. This has zero added sugar. The sweetener in here is touch of erythritol and tapioca syrup. The only ingredient I don't like is natural flavor, and they put it in there too. But once again, there's no alternative. That's like a sweet clustery treat that doesn't have natural flavors unless they put a ton of sugar in here. So not ideal, but still allowed. It's a little pricey, 10 ounces for $7.29, but it's still cheaper than most stores, not Costco when they had them. So this is a nice sweet treat that's totally keto and diabetic and relatively new to Aldi. 
All right, family, that is it for the top 10 things to buy here in Aldi. And it's funny, because if you came to Aldi 10 years ago, almost all the stuff I'm showing wouldn't be here. Back in the day, there weren't many Bobby approved items, but kudos to them because they've gotten bigger and better and kept up with the trends. And in true Aldi fashion, they keep the prices as low as possible. So right on down to Aldi, stock up. I'll be back tomorrow or the next day with another top 10 2023 video, either at Walmart or maybe Trader Joe's. But from Aldi, I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Happy New Year.